in there to uh, keep it from smelling. And you said the issue is bed bugs, right? And what was that? That ain't even just the issue, but I had to start from the beginning in order for you to understand everything that's going on right now. That's why I'm calling you that. Hello? 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 All of the power and decision making just held on the people with the money, the people who own the land. We continue to be hamsters on the wheel and um, our rights um, denied, um, our pain exploited, and um, we continue to just be profits and just be walking cash signs and not looked at as, as people. Jamano Millgates, we're the village inside the village or we're the community, as some would say, inside of the community. But um, what's kind of conveyed or what's kind of offered to some of the um, communities or the surrounding uh, residents of South Chicago or East South Chicago as they would like to call it. We kind of don't get a lot of things. We're a little bit on the end of saying that we have to kind of venture out to say that if we want something we have to know to come together as a unified uh, people, persons, to say this is kind of what we want. Because um, they are in uh, subsidized housing, um, management acts as if they're doing them a favor or giving them a gift. So their concerns aren't taken seriously. When I first got here, Jamana Milgate was beautiful. The diversity was fantastic and over the years it changed. We had rugs in the hallways and we were able to go out. I remember being a little girl we were able to go in the hallways and have tea parties. We could actually sit on the rug in the hallways because they would shampoo the rugs. The inside of the apartments were fantastic. We didn't worry about being cold in the winter time and hot in the summer time. We had heating, so. And then over the years, we it just deteriorated. They ended up doing a rehab. It was a, called a gut rehab, and they changed the whole entire complex. So once it went down, as the saying goes, it went to the dogs. <laughs> They came and they finally got that back together. Now it's starting to go to the dogs once again, so. Working with the um, Germano Millgate tenants, um, who initially had a tenants association, but because there was an informant that would report back to management, they branched off and they no longer meet within their own community or utilize a community center and now go by the name of the leadership team. I was on the tenants association in the past, and then I got off of that and then it became the leadership, the team. And we've gotten together because we been told that there's other tenants that are having problems with the apartments, so we all got together and a few of us, I'm going to say maybe six to eight of us, got together and decided that we were going to be our tenant's voice for the entire complex. Oh, well, see, you see how it's backing up? One of the issues that I have is um, leaking pipes. Um, 
weatherization. We also had heating problems. Some of our tenants were using their stoves to, as a heating source. Um, we have mold. We have pests that we don't, they're not pets. We have pests. Our carpeting, for one, which is a major problem, is causing health issues for some of our tenants. But we've had past security firms come in, so this is not our only security that we've had. The team that we have now, it's they're like in the middle. It's things that they deal with. We feel they should deal with other things in different kind of ways. And they don't. So we're also going to be working on that. Hopefully to get them better training just for the community. The violence that they're going to be dealing with <laughs> while they're here. It's been shooting inside of the complex, inside of the apartments. And it's endangering our tenants. And so we want something done. It's a lot of bullying and fighting amongst our children because they have nothing to do in the complex. So we're also working on that to get them programs that they can get involved in because our youth need not be idle-minded. Ask them, could they please send a, an, uh, an inspector out from the People's Gas? Can they send them out? Um, at MTO, I am a community um, organizer. Go out to HUD buildings and help folks organize tennis association um, if they're interested in collective power and building power against their slumlord or if there's an issue in their building that hasn't been taken care of. It's, it's all kind of issues that um, that landlords and owners breaks regarding tenants rights and um, a lot of folks aren't aware of those so the more you know the better you can do. We were invited to be um, part of the MTO community organizer team and when I say not only enlightening, it was educational for me. Uh, I kind of got to see some things whereas without me taking all the uh, aggression or the missive form or when I say, hey, I got this work order, my pipe just busted and everything's all over my floor because the lady upstairs may have flooded over me. MTO has shown me not only how, but I'm actually how to word and to get my point across without being hostile or aggressive with it. Their mortgage their, had expired on that building and now their owners, um, Chicago Community Development Corporation is refinancing that loan. So the adjustments and repairs that they want to make to the building or that they want to voice, um, now's the time for it to be heard. We had been building uh, a relationship with management to whereas they would have uh, quarterly meetings with them sometimes on their own terms. But when they had questions about the loan, it was always a shuffling game. No one know, knew who was the direct person that you should talk to. The meeting today was, was the first of many, I hope. And I'm going to say that I just kind of feel like this, uh, uh, this is uh, liberating. This is like, wow, we got an owner down here to hear our issues. So not only does it make me feel special, it makes me feel like, hey, woo, these two years is something to accomplish. The leadership team themselves will be meeting with the owners to um, get some details about the commitments he made at the community meeting. Um, I don't know what's to come of that, but as long as it's something that they have in writing, it's something over the years that the tenants live there that they can hold him accountable to. We got some issues addressed. We got some yes to some things that security, um, uh, mold, uh, living conditions as, as far as carpeting, uh, the safety around here for our, our children, the tenants themselves. and. Um, Management. Management got some, some QE and things like, oh, wait a minute, we didn't know that was going on. Well, now you do. So now that you know better, management, you do better. But it still takes some work on both of our part, tenant 
as well as management to keep this, um, you know, this, this, this commitment, this thing that we got going on. Sometimes when you see progress and things being made, folks can have a tendency to relax um, because they think that they've done their job. They, they think that, the, that there's an end to um, exploitation or um, oppression, but it's, it's just a cycle, right? And the minute you let up, the minute some of your rights are back being um, infringed upon. We're seeing that there's some things that can kind of get done and we can fight for these things and, you know, live comfortable like the next person that we would like. Oh!